lovelies. So I'm having a ton of anxiety lately. So just a quick obsessions update video. So you guys, I always ask you guys to suggest TV shows and movies for me because I honestly want them. So uh, Tiffy suggested Jericho and I had never actually heard of it, but she said it was like post-apocalyptic, which I really like. And I started watching it, and I was like, what? And then I was like, what? And then I was like, what? It is so good, but I was so confused because I didn't understand why there was only, like, a season and a half of it. And that was in, like, 2006. It was before its time. Like, if that show was on now, it would probably be one of the most popular shows on TV right now. It's so good, and it's so much better than that other show that I can never remember the name of that pretty much, it doesn't have to do with, like, nuclear bombs or bomb. I don't even really know. We haven't found out on Jericho what's been going on, but it didn't have anything to do with bombing. It had more, I think, to do with, like, I don't really actually remember, but it was something to do with all the electricity going out, which is, like, a concept that they are dealing with in this one. And... That show is super popular and, like, had so much hype, and it was not even close to as good as how good Jericho is. So I'm hoping that they, like, wrap up the show and actually end it because I think it must have gotten canceled or something or maybe it was just meant to be, like, a mini series. I have a feeling it got cancer. Cancer. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. It got canceled. So I'm really sad about that because it's so good and it makes me not want to watch it because I know it's going to be like over soon. But thanks for the suggestion, Tiff. And if you guys have any other suggestions, just let me know because I am constantly looking for new shows. Update on the strain. I don't know. I'm not really into it. I don't really, I'm oddly not into sci-fi that much, which is very confusing even in my own brain but it more so far is just confusing and has to do with like not necessarily like a disease it has to do with like a parasite type like mutant creature and I'm just really not into that so I don't know so far it's just like kind of gory and sci-fi and I'm get, trying to watch it again because I want to give it a chance but I'm just like Bleh. But uh, another thing, I am going to be reading the mind, uh, mind racer, the Maze Runner. <clears throat> yeah, that's how I feel about the books so far. It's like I read a lot of young adult books. I love young adult books, but this I feel like is like thirteen young adult book. Like I don't know. They're using, like, all these words, and it just seems like, like, they're like, oh, you're a shuckhead, instead of saying, like, sh saying shithead or something like that. Like, they use all these other words instead of cussing. And, um, excuse me, Bella, I am trying to film a vlog that is super important. Gosh, some chihuahuas have no manners at all. But anyways, <laughs> oh my God. Anyways, it is kind of like a little bit silly, but it was really confusing at first because they're using all these different languages and calling each other all these different things. But it's kind of cool because you kind of feel like Thomas. Like you kind of feel like you're like thrown into this world and you like don't understand the language and what people are saying. So it kind of was cool that you're like, I don't know, just as confused as Thomas is. It is. That's the only thing I can come up with like that really is an excuse for the beginning of the book, but I have high hopes for it. Ooh, you don't like that, do ya? Um, I have high hopes for it because, um, I don't know why. It's the kind of book I like to read, and the movie looked really, really, really good, and I want to read the book before the movie, so that's what we're doing. I don't know when we're starting it or anything, but I just got really excited and I had to start reading it. And that's my story. So, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys are my pain-free, stress-free day. I'm sitting out X-double-O's. Bye!